Hey guys, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So today we will be doing this chocolate smoky eyes and we're just going to be doing the eyes today. I did the rest of my makeup off camera. So um, all the products that I use will always be in the description box down below. Also to the links of my social media, Sage of Chels and Chels Makeup Edition. So be sure to follow me. Today I will be doing um, using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Vault Collection shadows in Armed and Gorgeous. This is what they look like to do the eyes today. So let's jump right into it. So I base my eyes off camera with the P. Louise eyeshadow base. You can use whatever um, eyeshadow base that you have at home. I usually use concealer and set that with translucent powder as well. That works fine. I'm going to mix well. these two colors, um, Access and Secure. I'm just going to mix them and apply that in my crease. And I'm going in with a Morphe E27 brush. Now this is a blending brush and it's a round blending brush. Whenever you are applying your first color, which is called your transition color, you want to go in with something that's more fluffy um, to help diffuse the color and to not make it too harsh. And since we are doing a smoky eye, that's what I want to do. So this one is more rounded. This one is more tapered. It has comes to more of a peak and the, the rest of the bristles are shorter, which is also a good brush. And then we have this one, which is a M, sorry, M518. They're all blending brushes. They're just shaped differently. It's all your preference. So today I am using this one because I want to diffuse my first color. Um, so I'm dipping my brush in the shades. Always tap the excess off and I'm going into my transition area and I'm using very small circular motions to blend that color out. So we're doing a chocolate smoky eye today. Very fall friendly. I love fall so much. It's my favorite season of all time. Not just because of the weather, but because of the seasons. You know what I mean? Like we have Halloween in fall. We also have Christmas and Thanksgiving. Christmas is my favorite, favorite season of all time. I am at the point where I am convincing myself to not listen to Christmas carols. <laughs> I'm like, Rachel, wait until the 1st of November at least, because that is what I do. I listen to Christmas carols very, very early to get me in the spirit, because I love the season so, so much. You know what I mean? I think I need to stop, you know what I mean? I need another, another word to say. And I'm doing the same thing on the other eye. And always remember, layering is Key when doing your makeup small amounts at a time build it up until you get what you're looking for because if you're just going with way too much color it's just gonna be very difficult to blend and you're just gonna spoil the look altogether so always always layer and build until you get the pigment that you're looking for. I was saying how much I love fall like I really love fall I love the weather I never like the heat I love uh, the clothing like sweaters and boots and scarves and stuff I, I actually go all out for fall I I don't for summer I just love the weather and the clothes and everything I love getting dressed in the now I have this on my eyes this soft nice very like yellowy coppery color that I love I am now going in with the color smooth criminal and it's a bit darker it's a brown but it's more it's darker than the one that i laid down and i'm going in with my morphe m433 brush now this brush is also a crease brush but it's denser and flatter where i can get into the crease it is not as fluffy as this brush let me show you the two it's not as fluffy as this brush. as you can see this one is rounded and this one is flat so it gets into my crease it's denser so it will pack more color on also and gives me more control of the color that I'm putting in my crease as opposed to the blending brush so I'm putting this on one side of my brush and I'm tapping it off and we're going into the crease so what do you guys do for Christmas is like I usually spend Christmas with my friends and family and between work and doing that I never really like for the past couple of years I never really did anything to my place I always just work and I know I'm spending it with friends and family so I never do anything but this year 
I am going to go all out. I'm going to get a Christmas tree after Thanksgiving and set that up and decorate and do everything that I usually do when I'm back home. The way I grew up for Christmas is just going to bring everything back for me. I'm going as far as making our favorite traditional black cake. I already have my wine and everything there, so I'll be doing that as well. Salted ham, I'll be doing that also. And just getting myself in the Christmas spirit. It's Christmas, I, I, I miss home so much. I miss my family home so much. I would love to go home for Christmas, but it's difficult because Christmas time is also um, a peak season everywhere. It's busy everywhere. And me being a nail technician, and a makeup artist you like that plug-in yeah <laughs> make sure you book me for christmas um the information is in the description box yes yeah, check that out yeah me being in that industry is a very busy time for me so it would be so difficult for me to go home Soon. i will On be seeing christmas home we're not gonna afford to not bother about the peak season and um go home for christmas because i miss home it's only the time i miss grenada so much christmas time so I'm applying the color right underneath the first one to create this gradient. And we are going with darker colors today, so don't let that scare you. Just take your time and build. Do not go in with a wash of color all at once. Just take your time and build the color until you get what you're looking for. And I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm keeping this look totally matte today. We're going in with no shimmers, no way on my face. Everything will be matte. So I'm going back in with that first brush that we started with and I'm dipping it in the lighter of the color access, this sort of yellow color to help blend everything together and transition lovely. It's a process. You have to go back and forth with your colors if you want a nice. Now I'm going in with the darkest brown in the palette and I'm going to place this everywhere that has no shadow and I'm using a shadow brush like this. It's a flatter brush so it's even denser so it's gonna pack the color on with a punch because i really want to pack it on right now so my brush is flatter and denser so it's gonna get the pigment and pack that on my lids for me and i'm going in and i'm pressing pressing it in make sure you're always pressing tapping before you do any blending gives you the best pigment payoff see this Now that I have it, that I'm going in with that brown that we used earlier, Smooth Criminal, and back to that brush. And we're going to be blending it a little bit more to blend these two colors together. And for me, because I have slightly hooded eyes, I like to look sort of forward. And I like my shadows to peek through right this area of my eyes so when I look forward I know how high I actually want to bring that color so for me it's already where I want it so I'm just blending a little bit more to make it smoother and transition better like I say, the more you do your shadows the more you know how you want your shadows to look the more you know where to place so yeah what comment down below your favorite season like you know what is this you love? Let me know what, what seasons you look forward to, what holidays you guys look forward to. Comment that for me down below. I would love to know who else is a Christmas baby like me. Now I'm switching my brushes. I'm going for a smaller, more defined brush because I'm going to use a very matte color like this right here. And I'm using my 25B palette for that. Tap the excess off and just add some of this to highlight my brow bone apply some of that in the inner corners of my eyes now I'm reaching for a flat definer brush like this and I'm going into the darker brown prowl and we are going to apply this very close to the lash line to bring some more definition to my lashes and I'm just going to use this same brush and just lightly blend underneath that. So another reason why I'm very excited about this fall particularly is because finally, um, sorry, I'm looking for my, my gel liner, excuse me. So 
So I was saying, finally, my YouTube channel is up and running so I get to film holiday looks. Like, I'm so excited about this. You guys have no idea. Like, it gives me something else to look forward to as well. So I'm so excited. So I just applied my Morphe gel liner in black in my waterline. I just love using black in my waterline, it's my preference. I'll take a drink of that. But even though I love the weather so much, I feel like the fall just did a 360 on me. Like yesterday I went out where I was able to wear a jeans jacket and today I feel like I went from a jeans jacket to wearing a bubble jacket. I'm like, what the hell, the weather is so tricky. That's the only thing I like, what are you doing to me weather? Tell me, am I supposed to be wearing a jeans jacket or am I supposed to be wearing a bubble jacket? So now I have to go winter shopping, I feel like. like Maybelline Big Shot Mascara and I'm giving my lashes a coat because I am going in with lashes. And I like going in with mascara before my lashes because some people do it after. I like before because I feel like it helps to get rid of any shadow follow that I might have had happen while I was applying my shadows. It just makes my lashes really dark because I would hate to put my lashes on and have shadows stuck in my lashes where I have fake lashes and shadow in my real lashes. I feel like you would definitely know I'm wearing fake lashes. Okay, I feel like I got mascara everywhere. I hate using new mascara. This is a new tube. I hate when it's so wet. I like it when it's a bit drier and more tacky. This happens, but don't worry. I'm using this new liner that I bought from Morphe named Bite. And I'm going to line my lips with this. It's a brown. It's, every brown girl should have a brown lip liner. And I'm in going in with my Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in the shade Driver. We're doing sort of nude today because the eyes are already smoky. These are really nice, but I find they can be um, sort of difficult to apply. But once you have it applied on your lips, they last really, really, really long on your lips. They're very, very nice. And I'm going to put some of this L'Oreal um, Pro Matte Liquid Lip in the shade Bittersweet. It's um, a deeper brown. I'm just going to put a little bit of this over top to make this a little more brown. So now to remove that blonder, it's already dried. So what I'm going to do is take a Q-tip and uh, you see, it's gone. It's dried. So it just like flicks away. Favorite lashes number three. So wispy. Mm, I love these lashes so much. You can also use your tweezer and just gently pinch them together too like this. It just uh, seals everything. It seals the deal. No lifting, no nothing. Your lashes, you don't actually see your false lashes and your real lashes. It just makes everything to become one. So, yeah, so that's the completed look. I hope you like the way it turned out. I certainly did. So if you like what I'm doing here on YouTube, please subscribe and always hit the bell so that you do not miss my uploads. Um, like, comment, share, leave your comments in the bottom bar. Tell me what your favorite season is and why. Um, check out my Instagram, Shades of Chels, Chels Makeup Edition, how to book me, everything in the description box. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Before we leave, I have to remember this, my tagline, changing the world one face at a time. One face at a time, sweet Jesus. <laughs>